I know that I am really late to the game on this one too, guys, just like I was with uh, Whiplash and then a few other ones. You know, new movies, man, sometimes it just takes me a while to check them out. And with The Witch, I did plan on buying this the day it came out, but I found Ghost's first album on vinyl and I just had to have it, so I held off on buying The Witch. Um, I did, however, watch it tonight um, on my buddy Rob's Voodoo account. And, um, you know, starting off with this film, I love the authenticity of it. And, you know, I had to turn the subtitles on to understand most of the characters, especially the dad. Um, you know, I appreciate... Um, that they used true language from that time period. I loved the sets, the costumes, um, the acting. Everything really, you know, all of that was just fantastic in this. I mean, that was what grabbed me right away. Uh, up to about the halfway point, I wasn't real sure about this film. Um, I do not think that it was original there was there was really nothing original to the film honestly um it, you know it was uh, if you've seen it before you've seen these things before there was no surprises I, I thought you could see where it was going right from the get-go pretty much but with that said i still really enjoyed this film the second half is what really grabbed me. And, you know, I also have to say the score grabbed me right out of the gate, too. So all the authenticity in the score and everything I mentioned before is what grabbed me. Now, the second half of the film, it just, I don't know, man. J just the, the, the feeling of the movie, just the evil presence of the movie, just really brought it home for me. And I have heard some people say they had a problem with the ending of this. To me, the ending was just this superb. That's what sold it for me, and that's what made me say, hey, I love this film. I really, I thought the ending was absolutely perfect. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody that hasn't seen it yet, but um, I just, I love the way it ended. I thought that it was... Um, a complete submission to evil is what I is, is how I took it. It was like a complete submission and just like being enticed and just a complete submission to it. And I didn't think it needed to have any more explanation than what it had um, myself. But yeah, guys, I I really like this film, and I you know. I don't know how many times I would watch this film, but I will certainly watch it again. Um, you know, I, I would probably, I would say I'd probably give this film an 8 out of 10, which is a really, you know, it's a high ranking, it's a high score for me. Um, but I, I, I really thoroughly just enjoyed how, you know, it the, the period piece of it, how it was like, you know, you you took Doc Brown's DeLorean with a camera and just went back in time. I mean, everything just felt so real and authentic to it. I really, you know, I like the black Philip. I like the um, the bunny. You know how? I mean, it was just like this. No matter what this family did, there was this just evil presence that w had enveloped them, and there was nothing they could do. I like the bleakness to the film. It was just. You know, it was just the tone and the feel of it, man. That just, you know, I don't know. Despite it not being an original story or anything, it still totally worked for me because of that that tone, that feel, that presence, that that nice payoff ending for me at least. Um, and this is just a very polarizing film, guys. I've, you know, looked around and seen so many just complete polar opposite views. Um, you know, people that absolutely loved it. it's called it a masterpiece to people absolutely hated it and thought it was a complete pile of shit um i don't think i would necessarily consider it a masterpiece just because of a lack of origin of originality to it but i did think it was a very very good film and uh, it's certainly one that i will revisit so
people had been asking, I'd had a few people asking me my thoughts on The Witch, and that is it, guys. Um, let me know down below what you thought of The Witch. Um, I'm sure I'll hear a little bit of both sides, so let's hear it, guys. Let me know if you love The Witch, hated The Witch, or you like The Witch. If you're right in the middle, who knows? So, I uh, hope you guys like this, and I hope you are doing well. Take care, guys. Later.